in today's video we are going to talk about the javascript find index method which is very useful when we want to find the index of the first element in an array that satisfies a certain condition for example we can use it to find the index of the first odd number the first negative number or the first string that starts with a certain letter in this video i will show you how to use the find index method what parameters it takes and what it returns i will also give you some code examples and explain how they work by the end of this video you will be able to use the find index method in your own projects and solve some common problems with arrays so let's get started the find index method is a built in method of the array object in javascript it takes a callback function as a parameter and optionally a value to use as this when executing the callback function now this callback function is executed for each element in the array until it finds one that returns a truthy value now a truthy value is any value that is not false zero empty string null undefined or not a number the find index method then returns the index of that element or minus 1 if no element is found the find index method does not change the original array and it only checks the elements that are present in the array and it does not check the elements that are deleted or not assigned now let's see how this find index method works with some code example now here on our screen you can see we have an array of even numbers and let's say we want to find the index of the first odd number in this array now we can use the find index method and we will pass a callback function that will check if the element is odd or even now in order to do this we can use the modulo operator which return the reminder of a division if the reminder is 1 then the number is odd otherwise it is even now here we can write let index of odd number is equal to num dot find index and here we are going to use only one parameter which is the current value so cv and here we are going to return if cv modulo 2 is equal to 1 and if we hit save and if we log the value of this variable you can see we have minus 1 now here this find index method will loop through this nums array and execute this callback function for each element it will stop when it finds the first element that returns true which is the first odd number in this case there is no odd number in this array so that this find index method return minus 1 and this is because we don't have any odd number in our array now let's add an odd number to this nums array and see what happens we can use the push method to add an element to the end of the array now here we are going to push an odd number so we can write nums dot push then 21 now after pushing this odd number you can see now we have 10 which is the index of our odd number note that the index start from 0 so the first element that we have in our array has the index of 0 this second one 
has the index of 1 and so on. We can verify this by accessing the element at the index of 10. Nums at position 10 and if we hit save, you can see the element at the index 10 is 21 which is the first odd number in this array. This shows how the find index method can help us find the index of the first element that satisfies a certain condition. Now let's see another example. Here on our screen you can see we have an array of strings and we assigned it to a variable called words. Now let's say we want to find the index of the first string that starts with the letter D. We can use the find index method and pass a callback function that checks if the first character of the element is D. To do that, we can use the caret method which returns the character at a specified index in a string. If the index is 0, then it returns the first character. Now here we can write let index of d is equal to words dot find index then our current value and here we are going to return current value dot caret 0 is equal to d and if we hit save and if we log this index of d variable you can see we have our index which is 3 which is the index of this string which is date. Now here our find index method loops through this words array and execute this callback function for each element and it stops when it finds the first element that returns true which is the first string that starts with D. In our case there is one such string in the array which is date and that is why our find index method returns 3 and we can also verify this by accessing the element at the index 3. If we log words at the index 3 and if I hit save you can see we have our string which is date. And this shows how the find index method can help us find the index of the first element that matches a certain condition. Now there are many other ways to use the find index method depending on the problem you want to solve. You can use any logic or expression in the callback function as long as it returns a truthy or falsy value. And that's all for this video. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to join this web development journey with us. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Keep coding, keep creating and I will see you in the next video.